Good afternoon, traders. Welcome to this week's Elliott Wave Forex and Cryptocurrency Market Analysis Webinar. I hope you are all having a great Sunday and you've had a wonderful week. All right, uh, let's start with the market analysis for this week. Uh, first of all, uh, if you're watching the webinars for the first time, you'll find the time stamps for all the pairs that we're going to discuss uh, this afternoon. So that makes it a lot easier for you to go through the video. So you'll see all the pairs that I'm going to discuss that I'm going to analyze here today are timestamps. You just click onto any specific pair and it will take you straight to where the analysis of that pair starts. Now we've got our next course, which is going to be the last one for the year. Uh, it is still going to be on the 11th of December. It's a two-week course. That's why you see it uh, from the 11th of November to the 22nd of November. All right, so if you're interested in that, you can contact me as per my details that you see under the description of the videos. All right, uh, so my email address, my mobile number, which you can use via Telegram or WhatsApp. Uh, we also have a Telegram channel where I post the live webinar links for these videos. So if you want to attend live, you can check out this channel and you can also follow me on Trading View if you'd like to do so. So for more details on the course, use these channels uh, to, to inquire. So uh, that is that about the course. So the course is uh, fully recorded on videos. So it doesn't matter when you join. So when you join, you get access to all that video material. So you can start watching the course even before the 11th uh, and to, uh, of November, uh, which is the live uh, course. So by then you would have uh, already started watching the course. So you can uh, interact and ask questions during the live session in November. So that makes it easier. All right, so let's get started with uh, the market analysis. Uh, we're going to look at uh, the cryptocurrencies. We'll start obviously with Bitcoin. Before we do that, some of the trades uh, that we've been looking at uh, that are playing out very nicely uh, is uh, Euro US dollar. So you see Euro US dollar, I showed this one last week. Let me just get my annotation tool here. Start with Euro US dollar. So this under trade setups in our Slack group. We use Slack, so this went and came, this came and did this, and then we went up here. We are around here somewhere, and we still expect Euro US dollar uh, has actually broken up to this point here. So let's just have a look here on Euro US dollar on the live chart it has already gone to that level. Uh, let's have a look, Euro US dollar has already broken that target. Okay, so at the target we had a blue box where we had a three wave pullback. Let me just get my annotation to be a bit thicker than this. Let's switch off here. So you can see this is the target on Euro US dollar crashed easily. All right, uh, that is what we have. So at the blue box, we saw that it was reversing in three waves. So we did see that this was gonna push, continue pushing higher. Uh, although there was not a new set, trade setup, we have been looking for Euro US dollar to do this for a long time. So we'll look at Euro US dollar during the market analysis and how it's playing out now. So this move we've looked at, if you've been watching these videos, you'll see that we've watched, we've looked for this move for, for quite some time. So from the beginning of this ending diagonal, this is an ending diagonal which we focused it for some time. And we've always expected that at the end of the diagonal, at the end of the diagonal, we are going to get a three wave pullback, even if that move and possibly that move can even get up to the 61% of this, the 61% of this. So this current move here is just, it's just the beginning of this one to go, uh, to go all the way there. So we'll see if we get continuation patterns, that should take us all the way there. All right, so that was a lovely one then. Now we had a number of uh, other setups like uh, the yen pass, which we expected. The yen pass, I expected them to drop uh, a little bit more before pushing higher. So for example, we had Euro, US dollar JPY. We had a three wave move here. Okay, I expected that from here, we're gonna get pushed lower and then we're gonna get up, uh, we're gonna push higher. So what happened here is that this one just started pushing from this level, making this a three wave flat correction. So, and all the yen pairs have done exactly the same structure. They've made three wave pullbacks and pushed up higher. And for all of them, I wanted them to 
give me this and then upside here. But that's okay, that's part of trading. We do get those sometimes. Uh, we also had an Ethereum uh, trade set up. Uh, let's look for Ethereum there. This was Ethereum that has played out well. Uh, talking about Ethereum, uh, our crypto corner starts next week. Thank you for all the comments and the suggested uh, cryptocurrencies to look at when we start the cryptocurrency analysis. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at 10 to 15 crypto analysis in the webinar. Um, but maybe for a start, we'll just start, start with the top 10. Uh, so that will start next week, either Sunday or Monday, but rather Monday because the Sunday we are going to have this normal uh, webinar where we look at mostly the Forex uh, pairs and the indices. Okay, so Ethereum, as you can see here, if you go to the chat, has already made this move. It's already coming down. We already showed this, that we are looking for this to keep coming down, to keep coming down. Okay, so that was the, the Ethereum trade that we looked at there. All right, that is Ethereum and the pound pass. Pound pass, they went, all of them went up. We wanted them to come deeper first. Let's have a look here. We wanted them to come deeper before pushing higher with the moves to the upside. So all of them have just made, this is a, a pound chief. Actually, pound chief came up to this level, making this a three wave move, okay? Did not quite reach the target that we wanted. So reversed from here, making this a three wave move. Last week, we said, look for continuation patterns on the pound press to push higher, all right? So that is what we're looking at. We didn't quite get our full target on pound chief. Uh, these ones are old setups. You can see pound yen has reached a target fully and very quickly. From here, it just went up here and target was reached on there. I think we've already made a, a recap on this one. Uh, US dollar CAD has made a move up to this level of which it has made a, a corrective structure and then started reversing from there also without reaching the target. Now we are looking for a different structure on this one. So we've got here, we've got one, two, three here. Then this one has pushed up to this level. It's coming down. Last week it was pulling back here like this. Said expect continuation to the downside. It is continuing to the downside. It has already broken this low here. We're gonna look at it during the market analysis. So that's how that has played out. Now let's look at the market analysis. Uh, we don't really have new trades. In the last week, uh, we've just been looking at uh, continuation patterns on the pound pairs. Uh, here's one uh, of the pairs that we looked at as well. This was uh, New Zealand CAD. So New Zealand CAD, I wanted it to do this. It's actually made a spike lower before coming up here. Okay, so that did not play out the way we wanted it to. Although this is now coming up here up to this level, we're gonna start looking for uh, continuation patterns and get that same trade again. Uh, we also had one on New Zealand US dollar. Let's have a look at New Zealand US dollar. This was the latest one. So New Zealand US dollar, I was looking at this to have completed the three wave pullback to continue like this. So this is how this one has played out. Still in play. Uh, all it has done is has an expanding flat like this. It has made this and it is now going up with this move. We're already here. So we'll look for this to continue up to this level. Uh, let's look at this during the market analysis session. Okay, so that is that, that is how that played out. So that simply means that it was not all the corrective structure, it was gonna make the pullback here. That is New Zealand US dollar. All right, so let's start with uh, today's analysis. We'll start with the cryptocurrencies. We'll start with Bitcoin. I'm not gonna go into uh, higher time frame today, guys. I'm gonna um, look mostly in the lower time frames. Uh, try to look for new trade setups. Let's start with uh, Bitcoin. So this is Bitcoin on the daily. If you remember, we took that Bitcoin trade from here. This was the entry here on Bitcoin up until we got this move to the downside. Last week we said uh, we've got a move to the upside. We actually looked at this move. This was the move that was similar to that trade on Ethereum uh, to get this three wave pullback. And then we're looking for this one to come down to the blue box. Into the blue box with divergence, we should get another three wave pullback to the upside. So this coming down here on Bitcoin, expect it to push higher. Just to remind you what the setup looked like, uh, we have seen uh, previously why we looked at Bitcoin uh, the way we did 
with that move to the downside. So this was Bitcoin. You can see that was the move that we expected. We took it right there. It came here, made this move, just a pullback here, and then we just dropped like that. And that is how we got the Bitcoin move. And uh, I showed for the past three weeks how we've got fractal structures or fractal a pattern that are similar that we saw on Euro US dollar. And we also saw last week that that pattern is also exist in the gold pair as well. And this is the pattern you can go and uh, look what it looks like, check what it looks like on the Euro pairs. If you have not seen the previous videos, you can go and do so. You can go and watch last week. So we start with a three wave move to the downside. We have a three wave pull back here in red. And then after that, we've got a purple move that goes down and then pull back. And then after that, we expect that move. So this is why we took the move here to the downside. That's why we got this trade up to this level. Uh, even though our target is into the blue box here like this, uh, we still expect that it will go to the blue box. We've now made this three wave pull back here. Expect this one to come break the low here with divergence on the RSI and then we get another three wave pullback. Whether this is the reversal, uh, that cannot be confirmed as yet. We'll see how this one comes back. This move will tell us how this one's look, this one looks, because we're not gonna be uh, taking the trade here. We're gonna be looking to take the trade after the impulse here, okay? So that is what we're gonna be looking at on Bitcoin. All right, let's look at the rest. So now, before we look at the rest, let's look at the lower time frame. This is the daily uh, short-term trade. What is the next move here on Bitcoin? Let's have a look here. We are looking for continuation patterns to the low, to the downside. We're looking for continuation pattern to the downside because we want it to go into that blue box, very close to that blue box, and break this low here. So we've got a three-way, what looks like a three-way pullback, a move to the downside. This can make a move here like this. I should use yellow there. Let's use yellow. This can make a move here. This is a three-way move. You don't see it because we're on the four hour. I'll show you on the one hour. Let's go to the one hour rather. So we can see this continuation pattern here. The same pattern that you see here as a three wave is a similar pattern that you see here as a three wave, but let's go and have a look at that. On the one hour, it's gonna be a lot clearer. Okay, there we go. It's a lot clearer here now. Now here we saw a one, two, three wave pullback here and then it dropped. Now here's another three wave pullback. That's why you see this drop again. Okay, now you're seeing here another pullback here and you're still gonna drop again. So this is this is coming down very slowly and this tells us that at the end of this move, when this comes down here, what we're gonna be looking at is the, for this to break out of this structure. So that's not, uh, that's, we don't trade trend lines. I keep saying that, we're just looking at the structure. So this structure will be, will be done when we, get out of this and we start making a corrective structure outside of this. Okay, so the move is still for this to go down, lower, break the blue box and then push higher. So that's what we're still looking for. We're still looking for downside. Now the rest of the cryptos, uh, if you look at Ethereum, Ethereum, the trade that we took was this one, as you can see here, this was the Ethereum trade. After the breakout of that, we got into this level here made a three wave pullback here. It's a move, pullback, it's a move here. Now, even if this happens here, we're still expecting Ethereum to push lower with Bitcoin. Okay, so we want it to keep going lower. So the next move here on Ethereum on the one hour is still to the downside. It looks like it has made a move, a pulse move. It's not really a pulse move to the upside. This can still come back down. Okay, so if it does push up higher, will just be making a three wave move for more downside. I don't think we we'll push that that far. I think we're just gonna carry on lower here. So that is our Ethereum and that's what we're looking at. Uh, Litecoin. Litecoin also will be looking for a move to the downside. So we made an impulsive move here on Litecoin and this is this is now correcting that whole move. We've got a pulsing move here. We've got one, two, three here. Um, uh, let me draw it cleanly here. So we've got a pulsing move in red. Let's use a different color here to show a different degree. So then the next move here that we got was a green three wave pullback. One, two, three. That's what we have there. And now we're expecting the continuation of the red degree 
to the downside. So that's why we're expecting all the cryptos to continue lower. What's gonna happen here, we're going to look for a corrective structure and continuation lower. Okay, so that is, we're already on the one hour. So this year should give us a corrective structure that looks like this. So even if this is a pullback here, it should continue lower. And we are kind of keep getting these pullbacks up until uh, up, up, up until the low there. Let's have a look here on the four hour, how far we expect this to go on the four hour. Uh, let's look at the daily. So these are now going uh, pretty slow. So this is a W, it's a X, it's a Y, it's a X, it's a Z. So we're gonna be looking for this to come back down to this level. So that is uh, how Ethereum looks. So this one looks for it to push lower. And then from there, we're gonna start looking for this. Whether this three wave, whether this three wave structure is the reversal, uh, will be determined by the strength of this impulse. We'll be looking for this to come up here. If we're gonna have one lower, we're not gonna take the trade. So we're gonna wait for this one. And if we do get that three wave pullback, the trade the trade to get to look for is further downside on uh, Litecoin as well. And lastly, Ripple. So Ripple, I have been looking for these to give me this impulse. And this current move is not going, going up as an impulse. It's coming up correctively. Right, so the only way this one will give us the move to the upside is if we get a pullback here, the same way the rest of the cryptocurrencies are doing. If we get a three wave pullback, and then we're gonna look for it to go lower. So for now we should get a pullback because this is coming up correctively. Uh, pullback then will take us and then give us this move that we're looking for. But it is not ready yet. Let's see what we get with the move. So Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin should pull this one to, with it to then push higher. Let's have a look and see what how that plays out. Uh, right, so now let's look at the indices, uh, looking at the S&P 500. There isn't much changes on the S&P 500 or the, rather the indices as we've been looking at. We have still, we are still looking for these diagonals. So let's have a look at uh, the S&P 500 diagonal. We're still pushing up to that wave five of the diagonal, the red wave five, targeting the top uh, the top of the boundary. That is on the daily. Let's have a look now in the lower degree, see what it looks like in the four hour. But this will eventually, this will eventually give us a big pullback. Okay, so if this is a wave one of this five, because this five can, can be quite, uh, quite it can be quite a long wave. And the reason why is because the, because of this. So this wave five may not be that short. Look at this wave three. Look how big that wave three in blue is. So to have a short wave five, a short wave five like that may not be the right degree to expect. But because wave three is extended, if you know the rules, you may find that your wave five is a similar size to wave one. So if wave five, so don't even take this this projection as effect because this is only a guideline. Uh, it's, it's only a guideline. So the projection of wave five is only a guideline. We've got Fibonacci levels for projecting a wave five with a three extended. So this one is only a guideline. So the guideline says typically when your wave three is extended as it is here, you'll find that your wave five is the same size as, as wave uh, one. As far as the rules and the guidelines are concerned, this wave five is long enough for it to complete at this level, but we are still expecting that it will go much higher. Let's have a look on the RSI. You can see we already have divergence as per, as we're supposed to between waves, uh, uh, three and five, so we're getting that divergence there. So eventually this should give us, even if this is a pullback here, that divergence can just tell you that's a pullback and you can have one, you can have two, and then you can have three, four, five, for this way five. So it's not time yet to think that the indices are going to crash or we're gonna have a big correction. So it may still continue higher. But let's see uh, how this one goes. For now, let's have a look in the short at the short term how this is moving. Let's look in the four hour on the S and P five hundred. See what the immediate direction, the immediate term looks like. So 
So we've made a three wave move to the upside here. One, two, three. After this three wave pullback, now we'll be looking for this one. This one is correcting here at the top. Looks like we're still gonna push higher to the top boundary of the wave five there. Then that will be a complete wave, a uh, three wave here. So let's have a look and see if we're gonna keep going up to the top of the boundary and then we're gonna get this move back here. Let's have a look at the at this year's no, indicators here, see what it looks like. So as far as we are looking at this, this is show, showing us that we're gonna have some pullback. Even if that pullback was gonna give us a move to the upside. So we're gonna have three up, three back and three up. Okay, so we're gonna have the pullback right now. Okay, so expect that and then a push higher. Pullback and then a push higher in another three waves. So the Dow and the Nasdaq will be similar. Let's start with uh, the Dow. Also within the diagonal, the Dow has already started that pullback. So let's see how this one is gonna go. Should go sideways. It should push a little bit higher. Uh, same structure as the S&P 500. All right, so that is uh, the Dow, as simple as that. So the Dow is, uh, let's just have a look here, similar to the S&P 500 because we're also in the blue wave four, uh, just using the different degree here. We've, we are in this wave four and then we're looking for this to be a wave five. So that is the structure. This wave five will drop, will drop eventually. Right, so just not yet. So the big trade that you're gonna be waiting for on the indices is when this starts pushing lower like that. Right, so do not get carried away and think it's correcting all the way. The same way this one was not correcting all the way and we did say that this is not gonna go all the way. We are looking at this as an expanding flat last year in December when this was falling. So that is how we got the move to the upside but now it has slowed down, it is going up in a diagonal. That's normal. This diagonal can do this and give you one, two, three, four, five for the last wave five. But we'll see how that plays out as we get confirmation. NASDAQ. NASDAQ looking for that to go to the top of the boundary as well. This one may still push a little bit lower, higher. We want it to go to the top of the boundary. Let's have a look here. We want it to go to the top of the boundary, then this will be a three way move here like this, complete. Then we'll look at that. So I'm still expecting this to continue higher. That is the NASDAQ. Right, and the DAX, uh, rather well, let's start with the UK 100. UK 100 after this five wave move through the upside I wanted this one to be an A B C looks like it's going to be a W X Y structure yes we're pulling back now we're pulling back with this uh, move here now that move can still continue lower here and that will be a one two then lever this pushing higher again Okay, we're still not done with the down with the, with the downside here, so we'll look for continuation to the downside on the UK 100. Okay, even though this one can do that, this is still going to be a three-way pullback, and we we'll look downside here. Right, uh, that is uh, UK 100, the DAX steady. The DAX. We've made a move here. Like this, we've made an expanding flat, and now we're going with the current move. Uh, let's just show the right degrees here. So this is what we're expecting on the DAX. Let's show the degrees here. Here you've got a running flat on the DAX. Uh, let's need to draw it cleanly so it's not confusing. Let's switch everything off there. You've got a three wave move here. You've got one, you've got your running flat, you've got a move to the upside. That is your lower degree. This should have been red, like this, one, two, three. Now, let me take this one off here. Then that is the right degree, it should be the red degree. Now, what we have here is another one, it's another two, 
we're looking for this three to complete here. Then you've got a simple W, X, Y structure here on the ducts. As far as this structure and the sequence is concerned, we are still not complete. We're still gonna push higher on the ducts. Okay, the ducts is still gonna push higher. And the knee K, Nikkei made a nice zigzag there after this move, pull back and this. So the same as the ducks, the Nikkei still needs to make a move higher. So we've got here the three wave move here. It's a B wave. We've got, we've got again here another three wave move on the Nifty where you see this one is a running flat. See this one is a running flat here. That is the three wave forward. That's why we, this is a pullback. And then you've got these three waves and then now you're looking for this one to be a three wave move. So continuation pattern here to complete this move. All right, so that is the knee K. And lastly, the nifty. Let's have a look at the nifty. Right, so that is the nifty there. So the nifty has played out the running flat and then it's now, it's now pushing higher. So this is the running flat that we looked at. This is the move here, one, two, three, and now we're pushing higher like that. Okay, so that was a running flat. We focused on this as this was coming down here, that it was either going to be an expanding flat here or a running flat. So we're looking at this one to continue higher. So gonna go up in a straight line like this. So keep waiting for pullbacks. There's a possibility for it to even do that and make this a three-wave structure, but I don't see that happening. I see this uh, correcting at current levels and a continuation to the upside. All right, so that is uh, the nifty. Uh, look at, uh, wait for the corrective structure at current levels. All right, so that is uh, the indices as well as the cryptos. Now let's go to the majors. Uh, let's look at uh, Euro US dollar. Euro US dollar, let's show the structure that we have looked at for a while. How long have we looked at this uh, structure and waited for this impulse to happen? We've waited for this one as this was making this diagonal here uh, over 419 days. That is uh, from October of last year, this has been forming the diagonal. Okay, so the di a diagonal is a motive wave. A diagonal is a motive wave. This is a move to the downside. This one is still a move to the downside. So it is a motive wave. It is not a corrective structure. So it is part of this move here. So just to show the structure that we looked at all these uh, months, this is what we looked at. All, obviously we've had a number of changes here as this was coming down. Uh, eventually we got the diagonal from when this was pulling back here. We're looking at a diagonal three, four, five, one, one, two, three, four, five within the diagonal. Now we've got a pulsing move. We are expecting that you are going to get another corrective structure here and a move to the upside. So this, I expected to make this move. You'll see all my previous videos where you had this diagonal. I've always been looking for this move. And if this move is not all it's gonna be, it can even make a move like this before we come down. Because eventually after this move, this is only a pullback. We still have a move to the downside. This is only a pullback. The Euro will come down. How, however far it's gonna go, it will eventually come, come down. Uh, for now, what are we looking for? You're looking to, you're looking to trade this to the upside. Every connective structure, you keep taking it up until at least to the 61% here. That will depend on how the structure is playing out here. We will look at the structure. All right, so let's go into the lower time frame on the four hour here. Look at the four hour. I showed you the trade that we took from here. There was the trade, we got the move to the upside, pull back in three, and then it keeps continuing up like that. So you are now, we're not gonna have a deeper corrective. We need to wait for a deeper corrective structure than what we had here, okay? And if it is going to push higher, we need to get that corrective structure to the upside. All right, so that's Euro. It's very simple and straightforward to look at now. It's easy now that we have uh, identified the move, but we've been waiting for a move 
for all, over a year now. So from October last year up until now. This is not confirmed as yet. We've got a pulsing move, it's a very convincing pulsing move, but we need to get a corrective structure for us to ride the trend higher. Pound US dollar. Let's look at pound US dollar. Now pound US dollar, if you go to our Slack group, while that is loading, let's go to our Slack group. You'll find that uh, We've got higher time frame analysis for most of these pairs. That stays there for a while because if it is a daily, if it's a daily setup, it stays there for it takes a long time to play out. Let's have a look at pound US dollar. So I was looking at this uh, just before the webinar started. So this is what I do. Uh, on our Slack group, I pin the long-term analysis of these pairs. We're looking for pound US dollar. All right, so this is a pound US dollar, a setup that I posted up in our group on the 13th of August. If you remember the 13th of August, the 13th of August, uh, no, about uh, six weeks back, we did an analysis of all the pound pairs and we wanted all of them to come down here and push up higher. So this is pound US dollar. You can see now what has happened with pound US dollar. We've dropped and this is a weekly chart by the way. So this is not a small move. You can see how far we came. We came around the 120 area and then we came up here. So the challenge was this with this one is that it did not touch this uh, low that we wanted it to touch, but that doesn't stop us from trading higher. So that just simply meant that we missed that first big impulse. Now we needed to wait for a corrective structure to ride the trend higher. So now we're getting this move to the upside and it's coming, it's going up very quickly. So it's coming up very quickly here. And then we'll be looking for this to at least get back to that level. Let's have a look at pound US dollar now. That is exactly how it has played out. Uh, and that was uh, or June in June already on the weekly. Let's go back to the weekly and look at how pound US dollar is done. Now we've missed that low. It's not a requirement that it must touch the low. You can see that I still have it as uh, I still have it like that. So we came back, we came down from this level, coming down here. Now we've got this impulse. I'm expecting this to go all the way up, back up to this level. And then we're gonna have a, this big move to the downside again. Okay, so all these moves we focused in one of the videos, which I'll try to tag next uh, when I upload the video. So just look out for the tagging tag video uh, uh, for for this move here when we did all the pound pairs. So we're looking at this one here to push higher. Let's go back now to the lower time frame. See how we can now ride this trend if you have not already in. Let's switch off here. So we've already started a move. What well, that looks like it, like we're going to for a wave three here, for a wave five here. So wave three here, because this move is very strong. So this can continue higher. Now, if you wanted this, you may not get good, uh, pullbacks enough pullbacks for you to ride the trend, because this is going very fast. Let's go to the four hour. Current move looks like it's slowing down a bit. When it slows down, that's good for those that are not in the trade it for, because it's gonna do this eventually and then continue higher. So the trend is still up on the pound pace. No expectation of this to reverse at this stage. Only pullbacks and then you will ride it higher. And that's the case for all the pound pairs. US dollar CAD, we already showed this one during trade setups. Last week, we saw this one pulling back here said come expect this one to come and break this low here then you'll be looking at this structure here like this that was the last week's analysis now we're going to re uh, evaluate when it gets back to this level because then that is a zigzag and then we're going to look for this to push up higher like that okay so let's see and get confirmation at that level don't rush it you have to let chief eventually breaking lower uh, we've had this trade set up for a while in our group, looking for this to come down. Discuss this to you during the, our daily webinars as well, because we'll be looking for this one to drop. It was it was clear that this was going to drop. Everything was there. Divergence was there. The structure was there. The sequence was there. Let's have a look here. See if I can find that uh, setup quickly on uh, 
Trade Setups Channel hier. Maybe file let's have a look, see if we can find it quickly. That was used like cat. We looked at that for a while. There we go. We've been looking for this one to drop. So after an impulse and a correction, this is not exactly, this is not, uh, this is not where it dropped by the way. It kept pushing up higher. We were looking for simply for it to give us this. As long as it does not give us this, we are not gonna enter. Okay, but we could see what we were looking for is this structure. Not just these to break out and this, the structure will tell us how far this one should go above this. So eventually we got that and then we, we're now coming down with that. Hasn't started really going far, but that, that is how this one is playing out eventually. And we're gonna start, we're gonna, you can, we're gonna start looking for pullbacks to write even more or to add more positions onto this one. That is because the US dollar, US, Euro US dollar is pushing higher. We did talk about that. Look for what Euro US dollar does. This was gonna do the opposite because they're inversely correlated. And that's how we got that one. Easy as that. Audi US dollar. So Audi US dollar made this three wave move to the upside made a three wave pullback and is making this move to the upside. Okay, so this one now we'll need to get another pullback here for one more up. As the Euro is pushing higher, we should expect that uh, the Euro, the, the uh, Aussie will, will go with the, with the Euro. Okay, so but eventually the long term view on the Euro or the Audi Aussies, Australian dollar, long-term view is for this to give us there are two ways this is going to unfold and you need to watch this on the weekly you already have this big strong impulse that is not confirmed yet if we get another pullback a decent pullback that's telling you that you're going to get to this if we get to that level you'll expect this to continue lower and if it breaks that level it's going to go to this next one here. And these are not support and resistance levels. These are structural levels. Then it's gonna make a bigger structure here like this. Then we're gonna still go lower. Okay, so that is what we're looking at on Audi US dollar. Okay, for now we are looking for, for now we are looking for this to push higher. We've already, we already have that impulsive move to the upside. We'll be looking to first target this level if we break that, we go to the next level. All right, that is our Audi US dollar. New Zealand, also starting a move here on the weekly, broken that below here, we've already got an impulse. We start looking for corrective structure back to this level. This level will make an expanding flat or a running flat to this level if it continues lower like that. So for now, we just need to get a pullback and ride the trend higher and target this level at least. Let's go down to the lower time frame on the daily. Very, it's not very, it's very strong impulse. It's a three wave move, but it's a very sharp one. So it's a one, two, three there. Expect another three wave pullback if this is gonna push higher. Okay. So that's what you're looking for. You can possibly get this structure here and then move lower. Otherwise you're coming back to this one or here for a running flat. Let's give it, let's wait for it to give us more data. We'll look at that. US dollar czar, last week we spoke about a pullback. We got the pullback, let's go to the four hour. We got the pullback, as you can see, said expect this to do that. And then we come down. Uh, you still have the analysis there, have not taken it out of what we expected this to do. Uh, it's already off. Let's try the daily, should be visible on the daily possibly. That's it. So this uh, pullback here that you saw on the four hour, it was, this was supposed to be this one. So we've got this pullback here. So that means this should be the pullback here that we get. And then we're looking for this to come down here. Now, like US dollar cat, expect this to do that back to this level, break this low here, then we'll expect this one to push higher when break the top here. Okay, so let's see what's gonna happen there. 
there are two ways that this, if this is the end of this, then this one is gonna continue lower and then we're gonna get another pullback here. For now, we already have that pullback that we can ride this one to the downside, at least back to this level. That is uh, US dollars. Uh, all right, so that is all on the majors. Let's go through to the yen pairs. Pound yen. Switch off here. Now pound yen is very straightforward. If you look on the daily, we've got one, two, three. And this three here is an ABC structure. You see an ending diagonal here. I'll switch on so you can see the labeling as well. So that is a three wave move on the pound. Now you also have another one, two, uh, not like that. We've got another expanding flat here. That makes a one, two, three. One, two, three. Now, if this current move is a five wave move, we're going to have this as an A, B, C structure. And we'll target this to the top. So let's see here, it looks like we've started our five wave move to the upside. We've started our five wave move to the upside. We're gonna look at this swing here, how it's starting and we count if we're getting the five wave impulse there. Okay, so, this becomes a five wave impulse. That's gonna be our ABC structure. And then we'll look for this to go to the previous high here. It is going very fast. Now let's have a look in the four hour and look for this structure. In the four hour. So the four hour, you see that we started with the, this one does not break here. So the low is here. Let's just make sure of that so you can see. Let's zoom in. Otherwise, if you start counting one, two, three, and that one is broken, then you're doing it wrong. So as far as this broker is concerned, this one did not touch there. So we can start counting one here. And this one is a leading diagonal, starts with a leading diagonal. Otherwise, this one is gonna look like a, like a corrective structure and you cannot have a one that is a corrective structure, one, two, three, four, five, then a pullback here. So you've got a diagonal here. That's why this is a one, this is a two. Right, so this is a two in the lower degree. Now you're getting another one, two in there, in this degree. So this means you're still gonna have this one, making one, two, three. Uh, let's uh, take this one off so we can have the full chart on one screen here. So you're gonna have this one, is it? A higher degree, one, two. Let's make the first one in yellow. I prefer the yellow as the higher degree. One, two. One, two. Let's see if we're gonna get this one to go to three, four, and a five. Then you get four and a five. One, two, three, four, and a five. All the way up to the previous eye. So that's what you're gonna be looking for. All right, so that is going to be the lower degree. One, two, three, four, five. So impulsive move. So we're gonna look for an impulsive move there. Look for an impulse there. All right, so all you need to look for on a pound JPY is this small pullbacks and ride the trend. Small pullbacks and continue higher. All right. US dollar JPY, showed this one. Uh, did I show this one during trade setups? I, I did. Uh, this one was a move here. So we wanted this one to go lower up to this level. I only made the move up to here, making this one a regular flat, an expanding flat rather. Now we're pushing higher with this move. We're expecting this one to be a corrective structure and a slight push to the upside. Either it's gonna be one, two, three there. That's what we're gonna be looking for. There is an alternative where this one has made a one, two, three, four, five, but we don't like this five, four because it has broken the low here, so it cannot be counted as a five wave move. So 
we're looking for one, two, and looking for this one to continue higher. Okay, so that is a US dollar JPY. Euro. Euro. This is gonna make now a one, two. We've made a one, two, three wave move here. So we're gonna, we're gonna expect a, to have another three wave pullback. Let's see if we're gonna get something like this on the Euro. Eventually the Euro on the weekly needs to drop. Okay, as much as it's coming up here on the weekly, the Euro is going to drop. So this will be the similar structure on Euro US dollar. This pullback like that and then drop eventually. So the same thing with Euro JPY. That's how they correlated. Chief JPY. We spoke about this structure on the daily last week, which has now been broken. You can see how uh, this one is playing out now. So your next target on Chief JPY is this one here. We're looking for Chief JPY to come and drop this uh, to this level here. All right. Uh, if I just show you what the structure looks like here on Chief JPY, you can look at the analysis here on the daily. That is what you have here. You can go and study this structure. It looks very interesting. That's why we're looking for this one to give us continuation to the upside. Uh, somebody says they still see pound yen on the screen. Is that the case for everybody? Because I'm already on Chief JPY. Anybody else? Please confirm. Now, Audi Yen. Audi Yen expect continuation to the upside. Same way that Euro has already done this, uh, Audi Yen should follow the same structure. Continuation to the upside. Uh, in the four hour, you look for pullbacks and continue higher. Okay, so pullbacks, decent pullbacks like this one, you expect this to continue higher. That is Audi, New Zealand, the same. New Zealand, you can see the three wave structure that's in the making here. That is a three wave move. One, two, three. Expect this to push higher. That will be a complete three wave structure. That is New Zealand, and then the CAD. CAD has already completed its three wave structure. Like that, one, two, three. Is this the end or we still need to crawl a little bit higher before we get a pullback or an impulse? Either way, we're gonna need to get this move back. All right, so that is a CAD yen. Let's look at silver and gold. Silver and gold. Now the structure that I referred to on Bitcoin and how we got the Bitcoin move to the downside is a similar structure on silver and gold. Today I'm gonna to start with silver. Looking at silver, we've made a three wave move to the downside. I'm expecting this one to make another three wave pullback. This move may not be that big to the upside. Then we'll get this one to go down like that. Now, if you ref look at this and the structure that I referred to in the last three weeks on the Euro, on Euro US dollar and Bitcoin, you'll see that there are similarities here in the structure because the structure goes like this. You start with a three wave move down, one, two, three. You get a pullback in red. And then you've got this purple move doing this one and a pullback. After that, you get this move going down like this. Now, if you refer to this structure and compare to this, this is a WXY structure. And that is just how that plays out. So that will be W, that will be X, that will be Y to the downside. So that's what you're gonna be looking at here on uh, silver. Okay, so silver looks like that and we'll be looking for this move. So why, where are we here in terms of the structure on silver? We are here on the red pullback. We're here on the red pullback and then we're gonna be looking for this one. This one is not gonna go down in a straight line. It should be a three-way structure like that that we'll look for. Then silver to give us that upside after the corrective structure. So the same structure is on happening on gold. Uh, it's the same here. Let's look at gold. The same pattern, it's a similar pattern on gold as well. I actually wanted gold to push higher from this level, giving us one, two, three. 
and then that was going to be another one, two, three. Still, we're going to expect it to come down before it pushes higher. Okay, so let's have a look how this is playing out now. Let's switch off there. Same as silver, it's three down. Expect this one to give us a one, two, three back. So this may, this will just crawl up to this level and then we'll expect this one to go further down here like that with the same structure. If we're gonna get one more up here, it should be like that. And that will be the end of the move on gold and end of the upside on silver as well before we get a move to the downside. That's long-term analysis. Pound chief, I already showed you that uh, long-term view on uh, pound US dollar. Let me show you the same thing on uh, pound chief. Got this is a long-term view. Uh, all the pound pairs I did in July. So let's have a look at this one. This is pound chief now. Let's look at pound chief. So pound chief, same as pound US dollar. You'll see that this is exactly how this is played out. It's coming up now. Let's look at pound chief. Okay, so that's pound chief. Now uh, you see that we've got pound chief exactly all the waves. It has played out. We've got this corrective structure. We've got this one to come down. This one has actually broken, unlike uh, pound US dollar that reversed before breaking the previous low here. So this one has broken the low and it has made this three wave structure and we are now around these levels. So we're pushing up higher with pound chief and the target is for this to come back up here. It's the same structure on pound chief and pound US dollar. In any case, the uh, US dollar chief are almost uh, at parity, except now that uh, US dollar chief is falling and uh, the US dollar is getting stronger over the chief. So that's going to be slightly different. But we still expect pound chief to be in par with pound US dollar. That's why we expect this to continue higher. Uh, we've had a number of trades on pound chief as well. Even when this was coming down here, I had a trade here for downside, which is this one here. Then we get this move to the upside here. So let's have a look at the current price on pound chief. So pound chief is where you see that analysis where we're looking for this to drop. Drops down here, moves, makes a move here. One, two, three, pull back. All these waves forecasted way before they happen. Now we're looking for this to go all the way. It does not go in a straight line. You need to have corrective structures along the way. Okay, we have to go get corrective structures along the way. If you're gonna ride the trend, you don't just go and buy this, you don't buy an impulse, okay? So you wait for this to give you a buy setup for you to ride the trend. So this is what it looks like. And this is what you're expecting for this to go and break the top here. Making this three up, three back, and three up. But this can be a five wave move here. Okay, so that is pound chief playing out very nicely there. Pound Audi. Pound Audi, we have been looking at this corrective structure for a while now. And here, we thought it was going to drop eventually. Okay, but when it started going up here like a leading diagonal, we saw the three wave pullback here and it went up here. Uh, that meant the change in structure. I've already made the adjustment on the structure. Okay, you can go and study this structure and the analysis here. Okay, so before you do that, watch what the structures are saying and the sequence is here. So this is this for the past two years now because this was 2017, started 2016 August. We started with a three wave move to the upside, a three wave pullback, the three wave move to the upside. I expected this one to be a W, a X, a Y, a X, and then a Y. So this Y was based on this structure, one, two, three. So I'll show you the previous analysis on what the, what it looks like now. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. You can see that the lower degree fits uh, exactly as forecasted. One, two, three, and then we're looking for this to be a one, two, three. Now we've made an adjustment on the structure. It looks slightly different to this, but just adding the last Z. So this one was, sorry, this was supposed to be a Z, guys. Don't get confused, it was just a 
error. So this was supposed to be the Z. Now, as this was a Z, that's why we expected that that move was gonna go down. So what I do here, I'll show you what I'm looking at and why I'm expecting those moves. So now that has not played out as we expected, although you did get some move here to the downside, that was simply telling us that that move is not ready as yet. We're still expecting this move, although not all the way down there, but at least back to this level. But move at least back to this level. Now, what does the structure look like now? So let's just make an adjustment. Obviously that cannot be our Z because this is still continuing. This corrective structure is still continuing. So what we are looking at now is this X to be a regular flat like this. So now this is your X. Instead of your X being a single zigzag here, your X is now here. And what about your Z? Simple three wave structure. So that means at the end of this, then we're going to expect that move again. Okay, back to this level. And if you look at this move at one, currently almost 1.9 on uh, our pound Audi, uh, back to 159, that's a big move to the downside, almost 4,000 pips uh, to the downside. So f obviously for two years, this has been rising, but to make 2,000 pips in a year. So these two 4,000 pips can be in a couple of months. Uh, that's why we keep tracking this because 4,000 pips is a lot of money. So let's have a look. So what does the structure look like now? This is now our X, this is now our Z. At the end of the Z, let's expect this. That's what we're looking at. Yes, it may push up higher, we're still pushing up higher now, but eventually this should come down. That is a Z, and then you can study the labeling there if you're interested in that and interested in learning. Pound, New Zealand. As far as this was concerned, this one should have broken the top here and started reversing. It still has broken the top here, so let's see what's gonna happen here now. If we get a corrective structure, this is gonna go to the next top, which is this one here. Uh, for now, we don't have enough data to see what structure is gonna make. I don't think this is gonna be a WXY structure like this. This structure will not be, will not exist, it will not make any sense if we do get there. Uh, let's give it a bit more time. Pound cat. Pound cat also started with a three up, three wave move to the upside, a three wave move back. Nice making this pulsing move here. So let's see if we're gonna get a, any pullback. It does not have to happen here where I'm showing it. It may push slightly higher first before pulling back. So wait for it to pull back if you're gonna enter this. We have got an indicator that tells us when the pullback is ready for us to ride the trend. We don't just use this. We've got a very special tool that works amazingly well. Okay, so that is a W in blue, X in blue, and then we're looking for this one to make this structure here. One, two, three up, one, two, three back, and another one, two, three back, long term. So wait for pullbacks like that. Euro pound, so Euro pound had a setup here for this one actually gave up on this one when it started pushing up higher like this. And this is what they do. One, two, they when it pushed up here higher like this, it looked like it was making an impulse. It was gonna continue higher. Then they drop it with this big candle. That is what they do. When the candle broke below here, you could see that now it was a trade after a corrective structure. That's why we're coming down here now. All right, so that is a par euro pound and that is how this is playing out. So this one should push slightly lower with the rest of the pound pairs. Let's see how far this one is gonna go. No new trade there. It's euro pound, euro chief, euro chief. One, two, three, with a chief being so weak, expect this one to pull back in three waves like that, one, two, three. Even if this continues to push higher. For now, we just have to watch what happens with this pullback. So don't get excited when you see this and then you sell it all the way. When you sell this one, expect that there's a possibility for this. That's Euro Chief, uh, Euro New Zealand. Euro New Zealand is pulling back. Expect this one to break the low here and continue higher. That's on the daily, so that's quite a significant move to the downside. Let's look at it on the four hour. So 
So on the four hour, this is still impulsive. Wait for this to correct a bit. Then you're gonna look for this one to come break the low here and then continue higher. Audi follows the Euro, same structure. Correction here, this is levels, break the low and continue higher. Euro CAD, making an opposite move to the rest of the Euro pairs. One, two, three, expanding flat. Starts with an impulse, we saw this impulse. Correction is going up here now. S small pullbacks on the one hour. This one should come up, uh, up here. It's a little bit risky to buy it at current levels. You need a decent corrective structure for you to ride this trend to the upside. That is the Euro CAD. We can look at the cross pass now, Audi Chief. We'll run through these ones quickly. Audi Chief, you've got an impulsive move here. You've got a corrective structure here. Expect this one to come back slightly to this level. New, Audi New Zealand. Audi New Zealand. Passing move here, a bit of a correction there, slight move to the downside. It's not really coming down. It may still push higher like that. Cat Chief. Let's look at the overall structure and why it's coming down. So Cat Chief may be making a complex structure. Let's switch this off here and show you what the structure will be. So it's a complex structure here at the top. You've got three down, you've got a pulsing move up here and this running flat or regular flat in the middle here. Uh, we're coming down with this one here and it should push up higher like that. So that'll be a W, X, Y structure. So pullbacks here, expect this to come continue lower. That is CAD chief. So CAD will be slightly weak in the next coming session. All right, so that is a CAD chief. Next one is Audi CAD. Uh, obviously that's opposite to what the CAD, uh, CAD chief is doing. Should push slightly higher like that, three waves pullbacks, pullback. New Zealand CAD. I started a move to the upside. My setup here on New Zealand CAD was that this was gonna make a move here and come back down here. When it was here, I wanted it to come back here and then move like that. So it, it has actually made this structure here, one, two, and we're pushing up here like this. Not very strong for upside here. We may push slightly higher here, get one more down before we get a push to the upside. That is uh, New Zealand CAD. Expect when this comes back up here, for this to come down lower and then push higher. Please hold on a second, please hold on a second guys. All right, so that is New Zealand CAD and that is how that is played out. Uh, New Zealand Chief. New Zealand Chief, we have got a three wave structure here. We've got one, we've got two, we've got this one continuing, needs to continue to the upside here like that. And lastly, oil, we look at the West Texas one. Oil, on the four hour, what you're looking for is for this to break lower. It's the move to the downside is not very strong, but we still want it to continue lower. You get this corrective structure and then you can, can keep coming down here like this. We had this structure here like that, and then came down. So that is one, two, three up, one, two, three down. So you may get another one, two, three up before coming down. But for now, look for this to come down here. Look for this one to come down here. So this can do this. You can have a structure like this, one, two, three. This is only on the four hour. I'll show you the higher degree just now. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then this one drops again. Now let's look at what it looks like on the daily. On the daily, it looks like this. So on the daily, that's why we want this one to do that. Even if it does the structure that I've just shown, one, two, three up here, no matter how complex it is, it may come for one here, then that will complete one, two, three. That will be this structure here. If you look at this, a move up here, a move up here. All right, and then you'll have this one in green 
I move down, one, two, three, and then I move down. So that's a long-term view on oil. So let's see, just look for the short-term view, what is gonna happen here after this move to the downside. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching. Please uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Uh, you'll get a notification next time I upload. Have a great week. Good luck trading. Trade responsibly. Have a great week. Cheers, everybody. Bye-bye.